This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. John Calipari and the Kentucky Wildcats adding another player to their 2015 recruiting class today. Junior College All-American Michael Mulder announcing that he will attend the University of Kentucky and join the Cats. Mulder averaged 15 and a half points and seven rebounds last season for Vincennes University, who finished 33 and two. Mulder is rated as a top 15 Juco prospect and held offers from Wichita State, Creighton, Minnesota, Mississippi State, and Missouri. And, uh, they had a lot of guys leave to the draft and uh, that, that obviously opened up a spot for me, which I thought was great. Um, I feel like under Coach Cal, he, he sent so many players uh, to the league and, and overseas, and they have such successful seasons, and, and that's something I, I look to do here, and that was important as a decision to come to Vincennes. So I felt like that was a that was an underlying thing that I, I was I was really looking for in a college was was that success and that winning attitude. The rosters for the boys and girls Kentucky Indiana All Star Basketball Series released this afternoon. Three players from the WYMT coverage area to play in the series. On the girls' side, Bell County Lady Cat and Miss Basketball Macy Morris will wear the number one jersey for the Kentucky squad. Morris will play her college ball at Kentucky. On the boys' side, a pair of Knott County Central teammates, future Vanderbilt Commodore and Mr. Basketball Cameron Justice will play, and he will be joined by IUPUI signee Evan Hall. The games will be played at Transylvania University in Lexington on June 12th. The 141st running of the Kentucky Derby is just four days away and trainer Bob Baffert has two of the favorites to win the race. Arkansas Derby winner American Pharaoh is the early favorite, but Dortmund is a close second. Baffert is a three time winner of the Derby and says Dortmund's speed and size gives him an advantage in Saturday's run for the roses. Well, you know what it is? He's really fast and so he can go fast early and horses are trying to, like a smaller horse, they're trying to keep up with him. It's like he's, it's, he's doing it easy and they just, you know, they just, they, they give up, you know. So, uh, I mean, the, the only, the firing line, you know, he's the one that, you know, came to him and, and gave him a pretty good scare. So that was, uh, you know, um, it, was, it was a great race, but he, the, when he came back, fought off, he really showed, he's really has he's a lot of determination. He has a lot of, a lot of heart and wants to win, so. The Cincinnati Reds snapped a three game losing streak last night, beating the Milwaukee Brewers nine to six, but not without some drama. The Reds led nine to two entering the ninth, causing manager Brian Price to bring in a role as Chapman, the closer in a non save situation. Price says Chapman was warming up just in case he was needed and decided to go to his all star closer to seal the victory. And that's just one of those games, you know, if you they're going to be up at some point if you're in trouble. Uh, you know, don't want to let a lead slip away like that. And things were getting sideways on us a little bit. It just made sense to bring him in there and, and, and uh, put the end of the inning, and he did a nice job of that.